yeah welcome back welcome back how you all doing welcome back to the channel in today's video we are here out here in um, Brampton city of Brampton to do a, a, a front porch makeover I want to I want to take you over here show you the pose that we're about to do the homeowner might big up yourself you have a drawing he outline he design it the way he want it so I'm gonna take you over here show you what he have on his drawing and show you exactly how we're gonna bring it to life This I have here my saw just to help keep down the dust a little bit. Ready up to use. I have here my motor. This is the motor that we're gonna use. And we also have over here some tightness um, pre-mix motor as well. That motor here we're gonna mix it with the, the Mate motor as well to give it some more strength. Here this is the here that we're gonna install some banners stone. Here I have the drawing that um, Mr. Mike put together. As you see here, you have the, the way you outline everything. This is exactly how you want it. So we have the, the detail of how it is. And we have over here as well. And we're gonna bring it to life. We're gonna put it exactly like we have it on the drawing here. Okay guys, so with no further ado, let's dive right into the video. Before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this one. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna, we're gonna cut this, uh, that, this seal off. We're gonna put a piece of stone right here. A piece of coping right across here. So we need to take off two and a half and so that we can have the stone installed here. I have three jackhammer guys that I forgot. I forget to bring. I forget to bring one of them. I don't know how we're gonna work this out, but we're gonna try and figure it out today. But um, just gonna mark it out right now where we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna go ahead and start to cut it. So our stone that we're gonna go here is two inches, so we need to go down to about two and a half inches. I'm just gonna level this across so we can have a perfect two and two and a half inches cut running right across, just like so. Probably gonna be difficult for us to cut it, but we'll see. We'll see how it's gonna work out, guys. Okay, so I wanna connect up my hose. the right measurement you need to take in order to have your perfect slope that's coming up um, pretty soon so keep on watching it's going to take us twice the time that it would normally take just because we don't have the proper tool Thank you. 
Well, the lineup now is starting. Okay, guys, so as you see, we finished the cutout the two inches for the two and a half inches for our sill that's gonna go there. We're gonna put a coping right there. So, if you don't have a jackhammer, as you see here, we, we actually get it out with our with our cold chisel. That's a chisel. As you see, all the water is settling up there. We have to slope it so that the water come this way towards us. So now we're just gonna go ahead and make the cut for up there so we can install we can install our sills. So we're gonna measure six inches for our sill here, put another six inches down here, and we're just gonna mark it straight. Just get a straight edge, produce a, a level or a piece of wood or something that you have. Now we're gonna cut this too, but before we cut it too, we wanna go ahead and we wanna put a, a, a mark on our stone and put a slight mark just to make sure that when we come over with our with, our, with the, the dust on the side, it won't rub out the entire thing. So we're just gonna go right through now. You'll see what I mean in a second. Well, what I did here, I make a straight mark first. So now that we have our straight mark, we're gonna cut right through our stone. Rather than if you were to go straight through, you'll probably run it, rub the line out. Okay guys, so we finished to cut our seal. After cutting our seal, our next step is to mix up a bit of banding glue with um, water add to it and just spray over your surface before you put your, your mortar over it just to help it to bond better. We have our mortar here. This is a type S premix mortar mixed with um, maple mortar as well, just rather than just use a straight um, type S mortar. Hold better in my opinion. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit. Just have it here sit, sit a little bit. Personally, I never like to use the the raw marker that they sell at the store. For me, it's not strong enough. So I like to add a little bit of, um, you know, maybe tin sets or something just to give it a little bit more strength. I need to want to have a slope. I don't know if you can see, if you can zoom in the camera, but you want to have the water in, in your level right at the end here. That way you know you have the proper slope. You don't want to have your water running on the inside. You want to have it to slope off. I'm gonna go ahead and check for leveling. Make sure she's nice and level. Guys, I'm just putting a little bit of water here. Later on, we're gonna fill it in when we're doing our joint. Don't so we need to put a lot here now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill here later on, fill in these here. See what I did here, I put my level here so that way we can have this one and this one sit on the perfect, the same level. That's a little free tip for you guys. Beautiful. We're getting there guys, slowly but surely. Just, uh, just fill it in a little bit. Go back and check just to make sure that we are intact. Looks nice to me. Okay, guys, so we install our sills now. We have our proper slope on it. This is how the homeowner wants it, just like I mentioned earlier. He have his drawing exactly how he want it, and we're gonna do it the exact way how he want it. So now we just we finish our seal. Our next step now is to install our coping right along here. We're gonna break the space in half. You'll see as I go, keep on watching. We need a two inch overhand. So we're going to put two inches over our tape over there. And uh, so this will be six feet, six feet, six inches and a half. So that'll be three feet, three inches and a quarter. Three feet, three inches and a quarter. So now that I have my marker up open, I'm going to go ahead and mark this out right now. Three feet, three inches and cut it off. So what 
what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make the cut so that I have the cut section turned towards the wall. So now we're just gonna measure from this area, three feet, three inches. With another three feet, three inches over here. Just gonna score it across. spray down our hair with some water mix with banding glue so as you see what I did here I put the, the cut right over there to the wall so that way we have a perfect we have the factory section turned to the way you're gonna be more visible so the model that I'm using for this is this is a this is a maple model the smart I don't have any Type X to it. Just, just a straight maple model I'm using. I'm gonna go with around a half an inch, half an inch to quarter inch coverage model on our stone. So guys, we're trying to get more models to the back and less to the front. That way we can have our slope. We want to go with like a quarter inch to the front and half inch to the back. We also want to wet the back of our stone as well. Just slightly damp it with a little bit of water. So we're gonna go ahead and install our first stone. Wanna have two inches hung over so just stay away two inches from the, the front up here. I need to come over here a little bit more. We're just gonna pull our level. I need to have two inches right here, two inches overhang. So now we're gonna go ahead and check for slope. Put our monitor, we want to go ahead and, and fit it and try to see if it's fit, it fit perfectly. Before we uh, we'll put our monitor. Beautiful. Look at this. Started to look good already, guys, huh? So now that we know that it's good where it is, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out and, um, and install and put our monitor put it back in place. Wally hedge, wally hedge on the other side, yeah. I want to check the car, make sure I check that this is nicely in line. And I also make sure that this, both of them is touching on each other. Here is a little bit too high. So if it's too high, what you can do, you can just do like this, rub it down a little bit. And you put your level like this, make sure there is no vibe underneath it. Now, down here, this one goes on a little bit. See, you're never not supposed to have any form of play on it. Just want to have a little quarter inch space right here. What I'm doing here, guys, I'm just using my slicker just to compact it and shoot it in so that make sure that we know that it feels properly. So now that we have it installed, you also want to have a two inches overhang over here. We're gonna put a face stone right here along one inch in face stone. Uh, so you're probably gonna have a half an inch model space plus you're gonna have a half an inch overhang. 
a half an inch lip right here. You see as we go, keep on watching. Here we have around a quarter inch space there. We also have a quarter inch over here and we have a quarter inch space over here. So now that we have this installed here, we're gonna go ahead and fill in this, this section here right now. So now we're gonna go back to our drawing board. Like I said, we're doing it exactly how you wanna want to see. So five feet by six inches. We're gonna split that in half. So 25 and then 26 and 3, 29. 2 9 by. What I like to do, I like to take 2 9 over there, 2 9 over here. And that way, I catch the center. So now that you see, we have, yeah. we have a Pretty quarter much. inch in the middle. Pretty then we know right in there is where the center is. Okay, so from here on, we're going to go 24 over here, 24 over yeah. here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one stone there. Go we'll get a 24 by it and a 24 piece of wood. Two feet by two feet. Just like that. Go back again. We're gonna spray them down. Um, type S mixed with uh, maple. The one that we just use is straight maple mother to install our hoping This one is gonna be mixed. Guys. You also want to wet your stone, the back of your stone. Right now, I already see the piece off. I have a mark here that we we'll want to get him. So now it's higher. It's always better to bring it up higher and bang it down. That way you know that everything is intact. Okay. So the way you want to know if this stone is perfect with this one with slope where slope is concerned you're going to put down your level like this and you see we have a play underneath it so right now it's telling me that this space that you have underneath here the bottom you need more marker to bring it up to this plane to, 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 to bring it up so that you don't have the plane in your level you're not supposed to have this in it so two ways you can check to see if down here you need to go down because first you have to make sure here is perfect to your level the stone and then you check the plate. See? We just need to come up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And we'll be good. Take your time and get it right. Once you carry on, get it the right way, everything will go smoothly. You might find you have to take it up a few times. But trust me, you're gonna love the looks afterwards. So for me, personally I don't mind to take it up and redo it over so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna bring it up even higher than what I want it and then I'm gonna beat it down just and then I'm gonna bang it down to the, the level of where I want to go you always want to clean between your stone and the new one that's between the existing stone and the new one that you're gonna install <coughs> So right now it's too high. So being as it's too high for here now, instead of taking the stone up, you're gonna just push it away like this and just cut it like that. Just bring it away like this. Once you do that, you push back your stone in place. And you're gonna bang it down. And once you bang it down, the height that you have gonna come right level and fill this gap right now. You'll see what I mean. here and also clear this section here so that once we knock it down it will go down easy to where we want to have it rather than have it here and bang it down you can break the stone you don't want to do that so just clear it away and then after you do your banging just keep hanging down like this
right now where I have it is where I want it to be. You see there is a little bit of play still, so we just want to knock on this. Until you rock it like that, you're not supposed to have no play at all. So right now I know I'm good. Give me some of them. So the way you know that you have the perfect slope, remember when you catch our first slope down here, our level was right here. My level is a bit messy, but you could see. When you put your when you catch this stone here, you're supposed to have the bubble same place where you have it for the first one. And another way you can check, you want to make sure that underneath the bottom of your stone your level is sitting perfectly level on this one and the new one that you already laid. You're not supposed to, if you spin it up like this, you're not supposed to have any farm out like up and down. It's supposed to be perfectly sitting, go all the way up, just like that. You're not supposed to have any farmer play underneath it. Then you know that you're going off the, the perfect slope that you set with your first coping that we have here. We're also gonna put some spacer here just to maintain the same space of joint that we're gonna go with. Now we're gonna install another uh, two by two right over here. That's how the homeowner want it. That's how we're gonna do it for him. You sell some regate stone where you have the front is two inches and the back is one inches. And this way you will avoid using all these mortar here. The reason why we're using this much mortar here because this stone here is two inches thick and this one is one inches thick. So we have to build it up to the, the height of where we wanna have it. And remember earlier we said we wanna have a quarter inch slope. So to have a quarter inch slope, if you measure from the front of your stone from all the way down here. By the time you bang it back in place, it's gonna go right down to the level of where you wanna have it. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna repeat the same process as we do over there. So right now it's telling me that I need to go down with here a little bit. As you see, I try to go up and down with my level like you can look me more. See? We also wanna go across. Also wanna go across like this guys. Want to have make sure that we have the right slope. You also want to feel to make sure that this stone is level with this one. That one is level with this one. Here is level with there. That we know that. That way we know that everything is intact. Just gonna measure. Put some pieces along here. We're gonna cut some three inches piece for here. Go ahead and just sugar right up. On. 